This is Spencer with the MacGuffin, and today I'm joined by some of the cast from mid-90s. Uh, if I mispronounce your names, guys, please help me out. Okay. So we got Sonny Soljic. Yep. That's correct. Perfect. Olin Prenat. Wow. Close enough? Perfect. Okay. Uh, Gio Galicia. 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 <laughs> and uh, Ryder okay. McLaughlin. Both. Right? All right. Um, this is the directorial debut of Jonah Hill. And one of the things I want to start out by talking with you guys about is, um, obviously, this film is called Mid-90s. I suspect probably most of you don't even remember the 90s at all. I was uh, no good. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Continue. I want you to give your okay. Full. I was just gonna say, what were your guys' sort of preconceptions of the '90s heading into this film, and did it have any impact on how you felt about the '90s after sort of starring in this film? Uh, I figured that the music was better, the clothing was better, um, and. Although there was um, racism and homophobicism, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm unprofessional. No, okay, be, be, be natural. That's and I really did not appreciate that, but I think I learned a lot. And I don't know where this persona. Is coming from me neither, but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh wave it on down to me and uh, <laughs> nah, but um no um definitely I learned a lot about the 90s and stuff I don't I wasn't consciously uh remembering at that moment in time in my uh <laughs> baby <Yeah. laughs> not, but um no like uh definitely one thing about this film is like um. Jonah explained and had conversations about these lines that are being written are not glorifying what is being said. It is saying it for what it is. And that's the lesson that we all learn from. And when I watch it and read it and, and act it and, and uh, watch it through the film, I I definitely feel it and that means that 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 means that what he's doing is working because I am way more conscious about my vocabulary after the film. I mean I think I think that's a great point. I'm even talking at like a fundamental level. Like there's like a scene where there's a beeper store yeah. in the oh, film and yeah, I'm yeah. like these people <laughs> have got probably beep. never seen a beeper in their life. Do they even know what a beeper is? Like yeah. are, like are there things like that that occurred in the film where you're like what is this thing? Why are we wearing this? Like looking at a TV, the TV is like 19 <laughs> inches or something, I don't, big, you know, VHS I don't, tapes. I, that sort of stuff. I don't think, think that, whatever. I saw, stop please, um, I saw Pogs and I was like, I was questioning Pogs because um, there were a lot of scenes that didn't make it in the film, but there was definitely, a, there was a scene with, uh, where I had to use Pogs and I was confused what it was, but then I, at, at the end of the day, I learned how to use Pogs, and yeah, that's all I gotta say. Ryder, did you want to say something? Are you sure? Okay. Def I don't know. The one thing that stuck out to me was how, how big the clothes were. There was so room, like it was just. It was so room. Yeah. The room was so. Um, one of the things I'm gonna I just stop talking because everything I say, they just clown on me so far. No, no, it, it, I get, I get that. Like between all of you, there. No, a I just lot don't like it. It's, it's good. Um, I, one of the things I read was that Jonah said going into the film that he spent like you know hours talking to you guys about who your characters were, so you could sort of understand them. Was your sort of process? for figuring out how you wanted to approach these characters or how you thought this person would act and stuff like that. Did you have any special um, approaches to it? I think Sonny's right. It this. was a joke. I I'm sorry for joking around like that. I got to apologize because I went overboard. I fracked up and I'm fucking sorry. There's just a lot of energy going on that I, I don't have. <laughs> Fair enough. No, no. Making uh, us look stupid. I am, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, just from the script, I kind of understood my character and, like, his role in the friend group. But Jonah, for sure, talked me through, especially all my emotions and kind of what I would be feeling in every situation. But I kind of, like, tried to make up my own little, like, when he gave us iPods, I, like, there's a lot of hip-hop, but there's also, like, 
some Morrissey and like a lot of other stuff that I thought was like kind of funny that I thought fourth grade would be into. Like I thought he would just be into like he'd kind of be into hip hop, but like more into like like the cranberries or some some like weird like kind of just off stuff. And I think that kind of just helped me figure out yeah my weird character. No, very cool. How about the rest of you? Do you guys have any sort of special approach to getting in your characters? I think I would say the same because, I mean, Jonah, the the script was, like, really well written. So it wasn't um, – I didn't really have any, like – I mean, I've definitely, ha like, asked a bunch of questions, but it wasn't uh, directly for the character because, uh, I mean, it was described – like, the script just, like, said it all. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't too hard to understand. It wasn't um wasn't like confusing at all. But I think Jonah I mean, for all the rehearsing and how much we talked, it by the time we already started shooting, it just felt like I was the character already. And I don't want to speak for everybody, but I think that's like I think that's how everybody felt cuz we did so much rehearsing and um like the music he gave us and like the films that we watched. So it was just, um, it already felt like we were, or for me at least, uh, it felt like I was already that character by the time we started sh like shooting, so I think. Very yeah. cool. Um, for me, it was like, I had questions, but it wasn't really like, oh, I feel uncomfortable saying this because the whole script made mm -hmm. sense. Like, it didn't feel like uncomfortable to just like, oh, this doesn't feel right, like saying it. Like the whole, like just reading the script, like how Ryder was saying, just definitely showed my character's emotions and how like it went from being like Sonny's like like best friend to hating him mm. because he was like becoming better, like like better. Getting more attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just getting like all the attention. And I'm just right there, like, and I guess like just reading, just like it's like exactly how Ryder was saying. Mm. Just reading it, just. It showed my character's emotions really well, and Jonah hopped out a lot, too. One of the things you guys mentioned yesterday at the Q&A was that you guys watched This Is England in mm -hmm. preparation for it, sort of that naturalistic style of, like, not acting, acting sort of thing. How challenging is that for, like, young actors who are, like, you know, getting started acting in films, and then it's like, okay, now we want you to act and not act at the same time. Is that added another layer of difficulty for you as actors? to not try and think about the process you're doing and just trying to be the characters? Or what does that sort of add to the process? Um, I feel like the thing that helped was like the bond we all had on set. It was just so like, like we all got along. The community on set was like really well. And I don't want to like, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. The not thing, my check. Writer has this. <laughs> um, I think it was pretty for me at least it, you're not playing like you know we're not playing like superheroes or it, it's based in like a real reality that was you know in the 90s so it, it really I don't know it felt that that was just it wasn't like we were trying not to we were just trying to be these people and act like there weren't cameras around which I, it, I don't know it I didn't really put much thought into it. I was just like, you know, don't talk and try and react to what they were saying. I think also Jonah made it feel like, um, like he would ask us if if something didn't feel right or if something, um, if he just wanted it to be us. Like for some scenes, he would just be like, "This can be a closed set." Like it 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 felt. It didn't even feel like we're, I mean, it, it did, but he would almost like, sometimes he would just be like, it would just be a one-on-one -on -one and he would just be, there would be the camera, uh, I mean, the DP, um, Christopher Blavel and then Jonah. And it would just be us like in the room just for this one scene. So sometimes it would be closed sets, sometimes it would be open sets, just like depending on how we feel. And so he was very open to a lot of that. So I think he didn't really put much pressure. And a lot of people ask me like, how did it feel like carrying the movie or being the lead role at such a young age? But then when I think about it, it's like, oh, I was. Like, it, it didn't, I didn't really think of that. And I think another, like, good thing that John did is, like, he did not make me feel that way at all. So, 
I mean, you guys have you've had a, a lot, like you said, the community helped make the process. Easy. What was challenging in this? It seems like there are a lot of things that could be challenging, like being new to acting. I mean, there's a lot of physicality in the movie with the skating and the falling and all that sort of stuff. What was the ch most challenging part of making this movie for you guys? Probably uh, just me not being able to skate well, because I've been, I've been, I like skate a lot every day in the time that I can't. Um, the times that I'm not acting, I'm skating. The times that I'm not skating, I'm acting. So it's like, I think just me not being able to be able to skate, uh, it's pretty difficult. Probably through like the whole process because a lot of the scenes, I have my board arm skating, arm rolling around. Yeah. You got it. You grabbed it. You grabbed it for a reason. Tyler. I know. No, I said you grabbed it for a reason. Tyler. No, we haven't talked to you. Come on, look. Um, my personality as fuck shit, or fuck shit's personality, was the exact opposite of my approach to acting, which is the contrast between uh between trying hard because that's my only approach to acting and. Uh, being a character who whose whole um, vibe is to not try hard because that's corny. Um, it was very difficult to uh, have that contrast throughout the whole filming process, but uh, give off and portray um, fuck shit. Uh, one of the things I sort of was curious about is this film's getting ready to come out. It's a very sort of um, intense film. What do you guys hope that people see this film and sort of take away from it? Like, if you had your dream scenario, what would you love to have people be like, oh, I saw this in this film. That's great. That's meaningful to me or that's interesting to me. What, what would you like people to sort of see this film and see? Um, I think I want, there's not a, a there are a lot of lessons that, like, it just shows what life is and everyone can take, like, something away. Like, kids that are, like, or people that are just closer to, like, my age will take away something different from uh, people that are closer to Jonah's age. So they'll, um, they'll have a different response. They can either watch it as, like, oh, that was my childhood or, oh, I saw people like that. Or mm -hmm. just, like, the, someone will, everyone will take something um, away. But I think it appeals to definitely just a, a different crowds and it'll, um, I think everybody will, most people will like enjoy the film and like under, understand that it's like, it's just life and it's a realistic movie and how it was in the 90s. Right, did I hear right, again, right again. Uh, you'd see, you'd sum it up very well. I have nothing to add to that actually. Nice. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for doing this. I wish you the best of luck with the film. I can't wait to see everyone's reactions when they start getting to see it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's don't even try to buy the same style. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels all right.